What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy. Look at that smile. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko. Today, I'm with my boy, Deep. Okay, Deep, first of all, I want to say congratulations. He came top 16 at the North American Nationals. Got the play mat. The BLS one coming soon, too, right? Yeah. Got the nice prize card. The beautiful prize card. The packs. Everything here. Congratulations. And I'm going to let you take over. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's my third Nationals or something. And it's my first Nationals top. Uh, I wanted to top 16 or go farther in because this is my third top. So I was just like, I wanted to go farther in than 64. Uh, I'm happy I made it. I scraped by in Swiss. Uh, I, I went X2-1. Okay. I lost to uh, two striker players. I feel like that's your worst matchup. You were yeah. telling me earlier in the day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I, I, so you, I, I'm going to go shout out first. So huge shout out to Team Aaron Mills. I play tested with them all like a month before this event started. Uh, we came up with decks together and which decks were good. We were so far ahead of the curb this time that I think we overprepared. People were like so behind, like I was playing players in Swiss and they weren't even like doing the right lines or having the right card choices. So I felt like I was really far ahead. I thought majority of the event in uh, Chicago, because it's the US population, was going to be punk yep. and like some sort of pile decks. Because we don't really play standard decks like um, uh, Despia or Sword Soul, so that's what I expected. And I wanted to build a deck that just beat that deck straight on. Yeah. So I chose to play uh, going second Despia. The reason why I chose the deck is because James Kim, uh, shout out to James Kim, um, him, uh, Luca Choi, um, Eric, Beckford, Aladdin, of course, all, the, all the men to support. But uh, James uh, gave me the deck idea, and then we ended up going with the deck. He played Striker, because I also thought Striker was this deck's worst matchup, yep. and he had really good matchups all the way around. I chose to go with this because I was just more familiar with it. So I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys see the deck. This Before you get into it, I do want to say that I feel like this is a first. I don't see too many Dose and Despia lists around. So this okay. is something you guys kind of created? Yeah, so James created it. Okay. We were talking about going second Sword Soul, but James created going second Despia. Yeah. I played it after he got second place at the last YCS. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where it was, but uh, yeah. Was it Charlotte? Something or like Hartford, that. Hartford, 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 Hartford. He got yeah. second with it at Hartford, and um, we, I, I decided to help him going further with the deck. Yeah. So we changed the build up a lot since then. Shout out Toronto, man. Toronto's the Toronto. best, the best city in the world. In top 32, we had six contestants, and yeah. I bet the average of how many Canadians showed up, like. It, Top yeah, it was like different. 90 to 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm and best. then top 16 had four or three, I believe. Top eight. Look, it's the man two. himself. It's yeah, the man it's, himself. It's the man himself. James um, Kim. James Kim. He he's the one that created the deck. Uh, I was just following his footsteps. Yeah. All right. So you want to get into it? Yeah. Let's, let's go. go. Uh, I played a uh, three Albaz. I played a 43 card deck. I think uh, drawing Albaz is not the worst because you can play around Ash most of the time. Yeah. And Albaz is that one uh, card that you can draw as a normal summon. They'll work with Super Poly. They'll work with Dark Ruler. They'll work with a lot of things that other um, like other cards or normal summons would not work with. So yeah, yeah I played three Albaz. I played a uh, three Alibur. There should be no questions. Of it's a really good card to draw. Um, you're playing 43, so you want to see it. Um, so yeah, a lot of the times I want to say like these cards when I summon them I don't activate their effects because on summon you can only activate one quick effect either it, that be the monster's effect Or something else. So a lot of the times I'll summon Alubur and then I'll use super poly instead of using its effect oh, okay. This way you don't give them a chance to respond uh, It happened a lot of times where dragon link I just summon Alubur not use its effect and then just super poly That makes sense. Um, so yeah, it depends on the situation, but sometimes you don't use its effect. Of so course. that's a cool interaction Played two tragedy. I think one wasn't enough. Um, two was perfect in my personal opinion. One at Blividum, um, and then I also played one Albion, and then the last monster in this package was one Snow. Yeah. I'll show you the rest of the package, and I'll explain why I played this package. So Makes I also sense. played um, three Fusion, three Opening, and then this is surprising to people, but I played three Red. The reason why I chose to go with these twenty cards is because the last package seemed very slow. Yeah. When you're expecting a lot of Punk Brave. Uh, actions matter like the amount of actions you can do on your turn matter so let's just say I activate loss then they get to resolve their whole combo they get to scythe me they have to do everything so loss is a first turn card is like horrendous like, you shouldn't even activate it yeah so then it became not good going second like loss has a uh, not as many good applications as going first so we chose to get rid of it in total and that means we got rid of the mercurial that people play we got the kit if people are still on it so yeah, um, this is a 20 card package that we ended up going with. Makes yeah. sense. I do want to say the 3 and red also gives you a fusion target if your fusion doesn't go through. Yeah. yeah. yeah and, and then red in general, because uh, you'll see gas cards, which I'm going to show you next. Yeah. Red helps a lot because like if you only have two in your deck and you like you get in a grind game and you banish a couple, like it's bad. So having 3 red was also Makes really sense. good. All right. so I'll show you the gas cards, quote unquote. I played a... Uh, three edge gym, I played three patchwork, and I played two poly. So this is the reason why I played three red. 
I think this engine is correct at seven, but the third Patrick, it's like a good card to draw. And on top, you don't banish it. You make sure you don't banish it off the next card, which is Desires. Desires, makes sense. So I played two Desires as well. There's a lot of people in Swiss that said uh, Desire, like I'm a madman for playing Desires. But if you fix up your ratios, like there's not, nothing, like nothing that could happen that could make you go wrong. One time you could like, one in like the odd chances you'd banish three Albaz and that's like the worst that can happen. But even if you banish three red, uh, you can still play. So it's like, I chose to just go with two designs. More cards are about it. Yeah, yeah, it's a good card to start off with and it's a good first turn action as well. Of course. It gives you more cards. So yeah, uh, that made 28. Uh, sorry, uh, that was 20 plus uh, the eight. So yeah, yeah 30. This made oh, 30, 30 uh, of the main engine. And then I played uh, going second card slash bombs. Um, the rest of the deck. So I played call by, uh, ban this card. I drew it in my top 32 match and both games and both games, it was just the two. Was that good? Yeah, it was, was so good. good. It's so good, especially in this deck. Three droplet, three super poly. So this part of the engine is just standard uh, to a lot of Despio decks. They play those just because they're good. You have a lot of monsters on board, you need to resolve effects. But then we also chose to add uh, six other cards. We played three ruler. Um, it's the best first action to make if your opponent's not playing around it. And yeah, I think it just shuts off the whole uh, board against Brave and you just basically super poly them or ruler them or even worse, uh, you mine them. Yep. Playing mine was insane because if you drew any of these cards in conjunction with another that's not the same one, you just outed their whole board and you put a win con up. For example, if you ruler super poly them, you can make uh, Starving Venom and then copy like a Baron and then what you can do is uh, use the Baron negate for the turn to get your fusion through, branded fusion. Oh, okay, through. that makes sense. Or you can Dark Ruler and then Mystic Mine. Uh, look at their graveyard if they use Draco back already and then play out a couple of turns. Um, you can also, because all their monster effects are dead, you could also fusion through that as well, eventually. So it's like a lot of situations, um, these six cards uh, and these six as well just help me play going second. You just want to break boards and control boards yeah, afterwards, I, right? You're always going second, per yeah. second. So okay. like you get a sixth card, it's a lot of hands. So you, you make make, you make sure you draw fusion or Aluber or Pot of Desires or whatever. Yeah. And you draw one of these 12 going second cards, a 13 if you had call by, and you just try to make sure your plays go through. Okay. So yeah, that was the 43 cards that I played in my main deck. And you felt it was perfect. I think it was good. Honestly, um, 43 was really good because 4 plus 3 is 7. Uh, it's my favorite number. Uh, 12 going second cards were good. I did, there was one game that I drew unplayable, but it wasn't because of the going second card. Okay. So it was like 2 red, 2 fusion, and then a cross out after siding. Okay. Which yeah. is like unplayable. Yeah. And I went first. So th that was like unplayable. But other than that, I think I played every single game. Which was correctly? Nice. That's nice. Yeah. Not correctly, but, well, I, but, like, I, but the cards gave me enough to play the go. game. There you go. Yeah, there you go. For extra deck. Play tokens. I played three uh, Albion. Uh, someone asked me why I'm playing three Albion. If you're not playing three Albion, I don't know why you're playing this deck. Especially pure. You need to be able to summon one, uh, use one on your turn, and then use one on your opponent's turn. So you definitely need three the different three. questions. Uh, I played Titan Clad because I didn't play Mercurier. This card was just better than Glory Dragon because I didn't ever search Mercurier. So this card is just better. Uh, I did use him to attack for game one time. He becomes like 4k plus. So one Lubellion. You don't need more than one. Um, you have so many ways to get this through. Uh, three reds, three droplet, like so many, three super poly. Like you have so many ways to get this card through. You should never need more than one, in my personal opinion. Uh, two Mirage, uh, two Chimera, two Masquerade. This came up a lot. Um, two Masquerade? Yeah, because me and James were talking about it and James didn't really like playing two at the beginning. I played, I would play two. You'd play two? Yeah, yeah but we, we came up, out we were just trying. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. We, we were trying out the Link Striker Dragon Bec because we play so many Albaz and Red. Uh, Striker Dragon and uh, sorry, Striker Dragon turns into a full combo with Albaz and Red. Oh, you makes Albaz, sense. Albaz yeah. make Striker Dragon, and then you can you have red, a brave, yeah, yeah, you can Red back the Albaz, and then yeah, and then you can search like uh, another Red End Faith with um, whatever uh, Mirror Jason. So yeah, it gave us a chance to play, but then we ended up coming. I came back to this. So. Yeah, played one Predator Plant, uh, Draco Sepelia. This was like a go-to to make when I had um, like poly plays turn one. Uh, Venom, I think this was MVP. I honestly really? think- Yeah, I honestly think this card was MVP. Because I played like three or four Dragon Links, you just uh, get rid of two darks and then you copy Baron because they make Baron. And what ends up happening is that you have a Baron negate and you have a Baron pop. And when it's destroyed, its own effect comes back to uh, destroy, destroy the everything, field. Right? Yeah. And then on top of that, it gains the attack of something as well. So it, it was like an insane card. It won me a bunch of games, honestly. Um, I also played one Prosk. This card was much better in testing than it was in theory. Okay. 
sorry, much better in testing than it was in actual playing. Yeah. So, but I still played it. I think it's good to play. Uh, I played a uh, one quarter. Well. Of course. So, yeah, that was the fifteen card. It's pretty extra deck was pretty standard, honestly. Yeah. And then last one, I'll least go to the side. Played one Ash, one Valor, one Crow. Just cross out targets. Cross out targets. Yeah. They're actually good cards to side in too, but cross out targets. One Barrier and one Anti Spell. So I realized that the two biggest losses that I had was Anti Spell and Ash. And Anti Spell was getting much more, uh, I guess, in uh, uh, popularity going yeah. going into Nat. So I had to put in the Anti Spell. It's not for the Brave Pile decks. You just take the L if they activate yeah. this. It's mostly for other decks like Sword Soul and stuff that want to stop you from playing. Eldritch too as well. Eldritch too, yeah, things yeah. like that. So that was pretty popular today. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Um, and then Crow is really hurtful, so I played a Crow. Played three Cross out as well. Of course. Uh, then so this is standard. I think some of these you can cut like Valor and Barrier. Did you play any mirror matches? I played one mirror match, and that's what I lost to in uh, top no 16. No way. One mirror match, and it's not that I. I misplayed, but but then it was also like I didn't draw that well either. Okay. And he went first. So. Okay, that makes sense. Played a three twin. Uh, twin is insane. I have not played. Yeah, twin of is course. Just too good. Um, you have so many good discards. Twin is insane. One red and then three Gozen. Gozen's insane as well. Gozen, okay. Yeah, there's an interaction with Gozen where um, a lot of the Punk Therion decks and any any board that sets up Therion, Regulus is in the gate. Regulus can't get rid of this card, so yeah. their whole deck just falls apart to this card. So, but you never chose to go first. You sided that in when you assumed that they would make you go first. No, I, I sometimes chose to go first depending on how match one went. Oh, okay. If I won match, if I lost match one, and I know they're playing a deck like uh, like something that has a lot of hand traps, yeah. I would want to go first. Something that I, like goes and blows out. Okay. Like for example, uh, any sort of punk or punk Therion, like I wanted to go first because setting up Gozen was so important. Yeah. It just kills the whole deck. So like that makes certain sense. situations you want like Dragon Link, uh, a lot of the times like they'll make you go first. Yeah. And I know that sometimes they'll make you go first because they don't have any outs. Like like my deck is just built to bring be, Dragon Link Dragon or Punk Adventure. Yeah. So then, then you can side in three Gozen. And the reason why three goes in is so good to side, even though you can't activate on your turn, if you get rid of Baron, if you get rid of Arrow, you get rid of all these cards, then what you can do is activate goes in on their turn and they have no negates and no way to play through it. Okay, so one last question. Yeah. So you, Dragon Link was pretty popular today, right? Dragon Link and Punk Adventure was crazy popular. Why not play Alba Lydius or the, the, the Contact Fusion one? You know the one I'm talking about? The, the Fire Dragon? The Fire Dragon, yeah. Yeah, okay. So we tested that and as good as it sounds, like it never comes up really yeah it never comes up where you want to do that because they have so much follow-up in grave like oh, okay uh they also have herald um uh, oh, sorry uh what's that card the link to the uh, tributes itself uh, i forget the name yeah but heretic heretic seal, seal. Heretic seal. they, seal. Seal. they seal. have a lot of follow-up regardless yeah so you don't want to do it all the time and they have baron up as well so it's not like it completely outs the board okay okay right yeah so okay. congratulations though i do want to say congratulations yeah, i mean i've known you for a while right and yeah like, i mean yeah, i've been I, playing I, the game for a while but i that's it, why i'm really happy for you yeah, man. like yeah. i i am really excited when i saw this i saw him walking around and i saw this and i'm like no way bro I even mean, though it, i shouldn't doubt you no, i shouldn't doubt okay. you but congratulations bro i'm proud of you Yes, sir. Yeah. Anyways, he got a flight to catch. Yeah. But do you want to say anything before we head out? Well, I, I, I gave shout outs already, but shout outs all my there's boys. A, there's a team. There's, support. there's James. Uh, of course, master. Toronto's best. That's it. There you go. Oh, Thank oh Amir and uh, all the men's back home. All right. So, shout out Amir, bro. <laughs> we couldn't forget Amir. I didn't get his dice. I'm yeah. sorry. I <laughs> now you know. I don't have to text him. All right. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it. With that, Spanko and Top 16, the sign and out. Peace.